Hey, this is Nathan with His Plumber. Uh, I was just going to show you some things that we see pretty often. Uh, maybe some things that you might want to watch out for at home if you ever see that somebody has uh, installed your appliances uh, like this. Uh, these are big no-nos. So uh, here we have a water heater, a gas water heater, and we got CPVC pipe on top. Notice the valve is over here. The valve should be on this side of the expansion tank. Also, that expansion tank has a lot of weight to it. So this pipe is definitely in danger of bursting and uh, causing a flood due to the weight of this tank pushing down on this plastic pipe. This pipe cannot handle this type of weight. And in fact, this is what is leaking right here. It's not right now because I have the water turned off and draining down, but um, that's definitely in danger of a flood. Uh, we're gonna replace that with a good brass ball valve and I'm gonna uh, support this expansion tank properly uh, so we're not in any sort of danger there. Also, we have an old uh, PVC, uh, excuse me, CPVC ball valve here. These things are, it's the same one that's on top of the water here. Uh, a lot of times builders put them in, but they're very unreliable. Uh, half the time when you turn them, they leak uh, or, won't, or won't close. And this is the valve that you use to shut off your whole house. So it's very important to have a good reliable valve here. Should you need to shut the water off to your house, let's say you had a leaking fixture in the house and uh, you had an emergency situation, this is where you would go to turn the water off to your house. So it's important that that valve is a trustworthy valve. <clears throat> here we have a, the PRV. This is what controls the water pressure to the house. This PRV is probably original to the house and it's leaking. Uh, the PRV stands for pressure reducing valve. That's what controls the water pressure to your house. So your pipes can handle high pressure. That's not the concern. The concern is the fixtures in your house. They can only handle up to 80 PSI. The manufacturers only have to make them work up to 80 PSI. So uh, this regulates the pressure and keeps it in under that 80 PSI mark. So you don't have a fixture failure and end up having a flood in the house. Uh, so I'm going to change these things out and we'll take another look after everything's been uh, corrected.